Okay. Okay, I just heard a knocking noise, just heard that. I don't know what that was. Sometimes this machine does make funny noises, which really isn't the best. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave it in the middle. We don't wanna make it too light. After all, this is a paper. It's printed on that horrible, with that horrible paper and that horrible ink. It makes it look dry and flat. I like it to look really wet and saturated. I'm trying to make it look improve on the quality of the image that, that they printed it as. And we're going to make it a movement demo. It's not going to be a still one. It'll be too boring. But anyway, it's, a, it's called The Senior. It's for seniors. Yeah, so for old people, in other words. So we'll just put that on the glass. And let's see if we can make this turn up a treat. Okay. Stabilizing image, it's a typical Clonic and Minolta thing. Okay, this will hopefully be a nice master copy. It's very colourful now and wet. Looks a bit backgroundy, but it still looks good. I, I think I like it. There's a little bit of magenta there and bits of red and other colours broken up. I think that'll make a good master copy. So now we're just going to consign this to the recycle bin. And the recycle bin's getting full once again. <laughs> Trying to work out what part would make a good centerpiece for this I was thinking here but I'm actually thinking there so now we're just gonna just trying to think what would make a good centerpiece I think there yeah, that that looks like pretty much it so we're just going to I think we're going to enlarge it so we're just gonna we're only going to enlarge it a little bit to get it off the edge so let's see if we can make it look a bit better so we're just going to go like that and we're just going to take out that enlargement and we're going to make it 102% that way 100 and I hope this is good enough okay now we just have to set things up differently we're going to have to set that to copied paper uh, oh f off Conica Minolta, you fuckwits. You fucking made this a use a very nasty little user interface. That really annoys the hell out of me when that happens. I don't have any appreciation for your fucking dumbass money fucking attitude that you have towards designing equipment or commissioning it. You really are stupid. You are stupid people. You you who work for Conica Minolta, especially the CEO and all the upper management, this is my message to you. Up yours. Basically. Go fuck yourselves. Go fuck yourselves and your fucking money. Bitches. You make this shit. This shit's no good. This makes too many squeaks, too many knocking noises every now and then and shit like that. I'm over it. But I still need it. Anyway, this looks interesting. It's dark. But the colours look... You get some iridescence like in that colour there. And yeah, it's interesting. So now we're just going to do this. We're just going to work on this. But yeah, Conica Minolta, you can't do much very well. You just love money. You don't let the people who really care try to have an influence on your fucking products. You're just a bunch of dickheads. Dickheads. No, a bunch of wankers. So dumb. You're so dumb and yet you still manage to make money out of your stupidities. Your dumbness. I don't get it. I thought dumb people are the ones who reap what they sow and they don't sow that much seed. 
and they don't get much seed. They, they go hungry, basically. So if you do the wrong thing in life, why is it that sometimes innocent people who make innocent mistakes end up reaping a, an empty crop, and yet people who do wrong intentionally, like Mr. Konica Minolta in Japan, for example, why do they get away with it and still make money out of their fucking wrongs? They know they're doing the wrong thing. They know they're fucking up the environment. They know people don't like their products. Why the fuck do they manage to prosper? Whereas people who make innocent mistakes trying to do the right thing end up paying for it. And often they end up paying for it financially. And they, they, they get nothing. It's like they just have... They've tried to reap a crop in the middle of a drought and, there's, and of course, no rain equals no fucking crop. And yet these bitches who do the wrong thing on purpose get away with it, get away often with murder. So sometimes products can kill people or hurt people, like the um, Galaxy Note 7 battery debacle. Yes, I like this phone that I've got, the Galaxy S8 Plus, but Samsung, I still remember, I will not forget what you did in 2000 and. 16 when you tried to release the Galaxy Note 7 which had a faulty battery and you had to recall all that shit and some people had already been had their legs burnt or something and basically you had to you tried to compete against the Apple iPhone 7 which turned out to be a fucking capitalist flop as well because they took the headphone jack out so both you companies have been really stupid competing against each other so all about money not about how a good product i'm very glad that i've got this phone but i'm still never going to forget the battery debacle or the battery gate incident of 2016 anyway that looks quite nice i think now we can call this one quits but you get my drift you've got to stop loving money and just fucking think about maybe getting a job that's something you like after all, you're rich enough to do anything you want, so you might as well just take up a hobby and live on that for the rest of your life. Gotta go.